Hey, what is up, guys? This is all here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you guys can clean your MacBook to make it shiny new like it was when we unboxed it. Let's get right to it. So before I started this video, I just wanted to say that this process works on any Macs, starting from the very old Macs all the way to the new 12-inch one. In this video, I'm going to be using a 12-inch one. Let's get right to it. Okay, so for this video, you're going to need some paper towels. I have some over here, but you won't need that much. You second, you will need some water. Um, I recommend just getting it from a sink and not from a glass, but whatever. Um, third, you will need a Mac, which I have over here. I have my 12-inch MacBook, which I'm going to be using in this video. And fourth, you will need something soft, like a t-shirt or a microfiber cleaning cloth. Since I could not find my microfiber cleaning cloth, I am just going to be using a t-shirt. Okay, let's get right to it. So if this is your first time cleaning Mac, the first thing that you guys want to do is you want to power off your Mac. So let's just get that done with. Okay, so it's powered off and we can start with our video. Okay, so we're going to start off by cleaning our keyboard. So our keyboard is sometimes getting really dirty by putting oil and stuff on it. But today I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. So we're going to need one paper towel for this and you're just going to wet it a little bit. So you're just going to add, add, wet one tip of it and then you're going to squeeze the water out kind of. So it's a little damp slash moist. And then what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to scrub it across the keyboard. So let's just get that done with. So as you guys can see, we're scrubbing it across the keyboard, and the keyboard is not too wet, but it's not too dry. So as you guys can see, there's a little bit of water on my keyboard, but that's totally fine. Then we're going to take the wet, the dry end of our napkin, so this is the wet end, this is the dry end, and then we're just going to take it, and we're just going to slide it and dry off our keyboard. And if this doesn't work, you can always take another paper towel and go for it, but, so we're just going to, so this process... You need to do it more than one time, so I'm just going to get through it. So, for the second time, what you want to do is you want to dampen it a little bit on the same wet end. Wet in, wet in it. And then what you want to do is you want to look for the keyboards that are more dirty than the rest. So, I can see that the shift key is, and these keys up here are. So, I'm just going to take them, and I'm just going to wipe them. But now I'm wiping all of them. And then, of course, we take the dry end, and we dry off our entire keyboard and if you do not like the idea of um, using the other end of the napkin to dry off your keyboard you can always use a, just a normal towel and that works as well so as you guys can see now I'm going to be using a normal towel okay so this is how we clean our keyboard and since we're done with that let's move on Okay, so this may be the cleanest part of your Mac, and it's the trackpad. So the trackpad is pretty clean always, because you only use your finger on it. So we want to take the same paper towel that we used to clean the keyboard to clean the trackpad. So we're just going to dampen it a little. And then what we want to do is we want to take the dry end and scrub it across like that. So yeah, we're done cleaning the trackpad. Okay, so cleaning the top of your Mac might be the easiest part of cleaning your entire Mac, but you need to do it carefully so you don't ruin your color if you have a 12-inch MacBook or your Apple logo. So, let's get right to it. So, I'm just going to be setting this like this, and I hope you guys can see. So, we're going to be starting off by taking one end of the napkin, which is going to wet it a little bit. But this time, you only want to squeeze it a little bit, not like fully so it's pretty. So as you guys can see, it's pretty wet, but not too wet. Then what we want to do is we want to take it and go across. And you will only want to go in one direction. So, as you guys can see, I'm just going. Especially on the Apple logo, you only want to go in one direction. Because then it gives it that feeling that it is all nice and clean. So as you guys can see, the back of my back book is pretty wet right now. But we're just going to take this dry end and dry it. And we, when we're drying it, we also want to just go one way. As you guys can see, I'm just going one way. Okay, so now that we've cleaned the back of our MacBook, we can move on. Okay, so cleaning the Mac, back of your MacBook is probably the dirtiest part of your MacBook because all the germs and everything that are on the table are on this end. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to take our same paper towel that we used to clean the back and 
we're just going to take it and swipe across. So basically the same way, but if you see a little something like a stain or something, you just want to scrub on it and try to get it off. And you want to keep on moving over the FCC labels. And then you want to take the same dry end and dry it out. And this may be a little bit wet, so the dry end may be a little bit wet, so you can use another paper towel if it is kind of wet for you. Or you can use a real towel. So I'm just going to take this and... Yep. So that's how you clean the back of your MacBook and let's keep on moving. Okay, so this is the part that is most important while cleaning your Mac because this is what everybody sees. So it's the um, screen, the chassis, and the speakers. So we're just going to start off by taking one end of our Mac, uh, for a napkin and wetting it a little like we've done in the other times. And we're just going to squeeze it a little. Same amount, so it's wet, but not, not that wet, as you guys can see over here. Then we're just going to take it over our screen, and we want to take it over our FaceTime camera, as you guys can see. I'm taking it straight over our FaceTime camera, and all the dirt and everything in our Mac screen. Just want to take it over all that, all the dust. And then, what we want to do is we want to go across the screen of the Mac like that. And all your smudges and everything is probably gone by now. And if it's not at the end, we're going to do one more thing that will make it better. So as you guys can see, I still have this um, napkin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight over the speakers. Because the speakers don't get that wet that easily. So basically all you have to do is go over it once and that's it. Then we're just going to go over the chassis and the side of the Mac where we didn't put water yet. And then dry it off. And if you want to do the sides of your Mac, you can. But I will do it in this video. And then you can dry that off. Dry that off. And yeah. So that's basically how you clean your Mac. But let's get into one more thing that will clean the display fully. Okay. So if your Mac screen is not fully clean yet, here is what you can do. So basically, you just want to take one of your wet napkins that are still wet from earlier, or you can use a new one if none of yours are wet. And you're just going to take a little bit and slowly wipe, but make sure it's not too wet. Because when it's too wet, then this will not work. Then what you want to do is you want to take a soft cloth, like I said a t-shirt would do. Uh, so I'm using a very soft t-shirt, as you guys can see. And I'm just going to go and go straight over it. And everything should be gone from the screen. And yeah. So that is how you clean your Mac screen. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a few questions down in the comments below for my Q&A video. So thanks for thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Peace.